Book of Wisdom, reinforcing the contentment. Proverbs 15, verse number 16. The Bible reads, Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox and hatred therewith. Imagine having these great meals. You've got your filet, your lobster, whatever it is that your favorite expensive food. Oh man, this is so good. And you could have that every day in your house, but every day there's just a fight and an argument and, and there's just stress and discontent and all this bickering and fighting every day when you sit down to eat your meal. Would you still want to have that meal with all that strife? Or would you rather just have a salad with, you know, like, like whatever, right? Ramen noodles. But, but, but everything is, is happy, love, wow, it's great to see you, We're, you know, and you're having a very good time together. I would take the, you know, yes, the love. And you know what? The wise thing to do would be to focus on that because... What is your life about? Again, if all you're focusing, well, as long as I get my steak, I don't care if they're, you know, like, that's a miserable existence. That's miserable. You may try to pretend and tell yourself that you don't really care, but you don't have peace. You don't. Now, again, if God happens to bless you and you still, and you have that love, you know, focus on that love. Because if God blesses you and you do have that stalled ox, then great, okay? But don't, you know, when you start desiring that and you don't have that and that's what you're setting your, your attention on, it's going to cause the problems. It's going it's to make it that you don't have that love. Keep the priorities straight. The Bible says in Proverbs 16, verse 8, better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. It's not all about money. Now, I'm going to give some practical advice here, and specifically about fighting over money in marriages. Because like I said at the beginning of the sermon, this happens a lot. Okay? And take heed to this advice. This is going to come from biblical principles as well. Husband's job is to provide for their family. And that can be a stressful job. Understood. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I know. You have obligations to meet. So it is stressful because you've got obligations and responsibilities. But even still, with that contentment, you can have peace. You're still going to have the, the, the need to, to work and to provide, but it doesn't have to be something that's going to cause you sorrow and distress and, and, and fighting. If you just said, okay, well, God's blessing me with this job. I'm going to work. And as the head of the household, as the head of the household, man, why don't you determine what your finances are going to be? You make the budget. Okay? I would say I don't recommend letting your wife make the budget. Now, some guys say, oh, but my wife's better with money and with math and figures like that. Look, you're making the money. Determine where it's going to go and set that standard. Right now, do what you want in your own house. I'm just, this is my recommendation, okay? You know how much you make. So you make sure your needs are met. First and foremost, you're going to make sure you've got food and clothing. And, you know, a roof over your head, bills paid, whatever. You go down that list and you determine what is a need and what is a desire. And you make sure your needs are met. After that, you determine what else might be able to be spent on anything else. And if, if your spouse has a problem with that and with, with spending, then go to all cash. Get rid of credit cards. Because you only have what you have. Right? And, and, and as a head of a household, you know what? You're in charge. And if you're getting flack and fighting and everything else, well, you got to deal with it. <laughs> and it's just part of the job. Right? You love your wife, you love your spouse, you want to do things for them, right? You want to make them happy, but here's the thing. At the end of the day, you've got the responsibility. 
And it may be stressful, but you got to do, you got to, you got to put that, um, you got to make that established. Now, as men, you always want to provide and want to do things for your family, but don't put too high of a priority on money once your needs are met. You say, okay, hey, this is satisfying our needs. We don't need to make it all still about money because you won't, you, then you won't have that peace. Right? There's nothing wrong with, with finding another job and making more money somewhere else or whatever, right? Go ahead and do that. Great. I, and I recommend that. Try to get the most bang for your buck, for your time, right? The time that you invest, great. Learn a trade. Learn a skill. Do something else to be able to work the same amount of hours you are now and earn more money. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't make it just all about the money in your house. 